it's coming now Hey y'all, it's your girl, Everything Me and Sims back again with another video. So today's video is going to be my updated everyday makeup routine. So I know you guys probably have seen this video. If you haven't, you guys can go back and watch it. But if not, you stay here because I'm going to show you guys what I've changed, what I do differently, and some of my tips and tricks to a flawless, cohesive face. So if you're this far into the video, you might as well already hit subscribe, join the go, gang, 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 we lit over here, and that's some period, sis. If you ain't got no go, set some, achieve some. The time is now. If you need a message or a memo, it's me. Let's get it done. 2021, we're coming after everything that God has ordained for us. So, what you waiting on? So, as you guys see, I have on my PJs in this video. And no, I did not wake up like this. I put these PJs on for this video, okay? And the reason being is because... I have lately I have been feeling so unmotivated I was supposed to been recorded last week I'm recording the week of that I'm releasing this video so it's very hectic things are a little bit crazy and I'm just feeling unmotivated and what better than to do when you're feeling unmotivated than to chill in PJs and do what you love the most and what I love the most right now is sharing my transparency with you guys my postpartum journey all of that good stuff but yeah I've just been feeling very unmotivated I didn't feel like recording I didn't feel like doing anything so today is going to be like a pajama chit chat makeup all that good stuff that's what we're gonna do today we're just gonna chill we're gonna chat and drop some comments below how you guys do with feeling unmotivated you know doing things when you really don't feel your best and when you don't feel like doing anything at all because i need some help just like how i'm helping y'all i need the same help yeah let's get into this Yes, yeah, so you guys, I had two really bad breakouts. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I just recently made a post talking about the end of my postpartum journey. And I just recently came on my period, y'all. And the period had me like, had me fighting for my life. It was really bad. First things first, I've already did my skincare. I probably will be dropping a skincare update, like what I use now. Because my skin health is very great, but it's just like, I'm still clearing up some of that stuff. First thing that I go in with, is the Milk Hydro Grip Spray. I spray that all over my face. Because it's winter time in Michigan and I need a lot of moisture. Next, I go in with a very hydrating foundation because like I said, it's winter time. I suffer from eczema and I suffer from dry skin, all that good stuff in the winter time. So I either go out with the NYX Born to Glow um, foundation in the shade Mocha or the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, and I think this is in the shade, hold on, Hint of Truffle. So um, this is very hydrating, and so is this. Next thing I go in with is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brown Pencils. Sometimes I go in with this, um, I may do my eyes first, or I may do them last. It just depends on how I feel. Today I did my foundation first, and this, I used the Morphe um, 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint and Hint of Truffle. So yeah, this is what it looks like right now. Um, very hydrating, very lightweight, and I like how a little goes a long way. But like I said, I'm going to do my brows with this. This is what my brows are looking like right now, and I'm going to conceal them. Sometimes I go in with the NYX Brow Glue just to make sure that my brow hairs are laying down. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Because it, it looks like, I mean, to me, it looks like my brows are a little bit crazy. And I know I look a little bit greasy, y'all, but I promise it's going to come together. It's going to come together. So yeah, I make sure I smooth those brow hairs down, set them into place so that they don't be all crazy and all over the place once I can set my brows. So when I'm doing um, a simple everyday face, I go in with a concealer over, um, I mean under my brows that is the same color, almost the same color as my skin. And this is the LA Pro Girl or LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso. So I go under bottom with this and I put this on my eyelids as well and then I just, conceal the top of my brows with my foundation so y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and share this story so as i'm doing my makeup right in the beginning part when i was putting on my foundation why did i spill foundation on my favorite satin pajamas these are my favorite pajamas my husband bought them for me and i am so upset while i'm doing my makeup and it's just like the enemy i've already been feeling defeated feeling like i didn't even want to make this video and the enemy really knows how to get to you like anything that my husband purchases for me like i really am appreciative 
you know, or like just the little things that he knows that I love pajamas. It's just like, this is really bothering me because I really don't think this makeup is gonna come out of my, my shirt. But I just wanted to share with you, no matter how you feel or what may be going on in your day, still continue to push through because that's just the enemy trying to stop you from getting done what you need to get done because the enemy knows I've been trying to get these videos out and I have not been feeling the most motivated lately. So I am very upset, but things happen and I have to continue to push through. And I'm sharing this with you guys so that I can start to feel better and know that maybe this was for somebody to hear. So I don't know who it's for, but listen. Sometimes I do add um, a liner when I do my everyday look. Sometimes, sometimes not. It depends on if I'm going out, but because I'm just shooting in the house, I'm not gonna add eyeliner, but the eyeliner that I do use is the e.l.f. Um, felt tip liner. So yeah, this is what I use. I don't use it all the time if I'm doing an everyday look, but it is something to spice it up if you're going out and you're going to run errands. Then I go in with the Essence Lash Pr Princess um, Mascara, and I apply this first and let it dry down, and I pop apply my lashes after I apply this. And I always add a very big bold fluffy lash if I'm doing something like this because I'm not going to be wearing eyeshadow and I really like for my eyes to have that attention on them if that makes sense. So these are the lashes that I use. Um, I already took my lashes off but yeah I'm running kind of low y'all. But These are the lashes that I use for my everyday look. I purchased these off Amazon and I will be linking my Amazon shop below so that you guys can get all of the products that I use in today's face. I can't leave y'all out here hanging. Why would I do that? Yeah, no gatekeeper products over here. We don't do that. We don't do that. So while I'm waiting on the glue on my lashes to dry, I'm going to go in. So as you guys see, I kind of have a little bit of hyperpigmentation right there. But because I, I like a really bright under eye, I always go in with um, a color corrector or a concealer that is the same shade of the inner part of my face. So one that I really like that's really good is the RMS Beauty. And this is in the shade 77 or this Hey Honey CC Cream, and this is in the shade Deep. So yeah, I probably will be just go ahead and um, going in with the RMS Beauty one just because it's super lightweight. It's not a lot. I don't have to use a lot to blend it out. So this is what we're looking like right now. Yes, I really like how it took all of that away. And it's gonna make my under eye very, very bright. The lashes are applied and now I'm going to conceal. I really like concealing with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade deep chestnut not the hydrating but the matte finish concealer so like concealing with the la girl pro concealer in the shade chestnut and the nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade mahogany so these are my three like everyday concealers they're definitely worth the and they're not very expensive either you can look like a baddie on a budget you don't have to spend a lot of money i am going to be going in with the elf the elf um 16 i don't know why i can't talk but the elf 16 hour camo concealer and I'm just going to hit those, you know, little areas. And I got all of this from Ulta, but I will be linking it below in my Amazon shop so that you guys can get it right there at your fingertips. This is what we're looking like right now after concealing. And I always, always contour with the Fenty uh, Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. I'm going to show you guys where I apply it, how I apply it. Uh, And another thing that I've been noticing that's like top tier is I have not been setting under my eye before blending out any of these things. Like I swear not setting under my eye has been like the best tip or thing that I've learned um, applying my makeup because it allows all of my products to blend together seamlessly if that makes sense. Like you guys are gonna see like how well this face comes together. Before I blend all of this out, I go in and I spray again with the Milk Hydro Grips um, setting spray. So. Yes. And I use a damp beauty blender, beauty sponge, whatever you want to call it. That's what I use. And it blends out like a dream. But I'll be back. And literally, look at how seamlessly this face has come together, y'all. Key, the key is not setting, not setting your areas that you apply concealer before blending in your contour. It's key, I'm telling y'all. Things first, I always set under my eye with either the Laura Mercier powder or the Juvia's Place powder in uh, Kalahari, and this one is in the shade Translucent Honey. So yes, I'm probably gonna be using the um, 
Laura Mercier powder. So I'm gonna start with this and then I'll be back. The next thing I do is bronze with the Benefit um, Hula Bronzer in the shade Toasted. As a brown girl, I swear the best thing that you can do is bronze. I used to think, oh, I didn't need it, I didn't. I swear it blends everything, like every look, it brings it together seamlessly, like literally. Literally though. So yes, get you some bronzer, girl and bronze that face. Next thing I do is I go in with blush. Y'all, I used to think that I didn't need blush either. And I really was crazy to think that. As a brown girl, putting on a blush just takes it to the next level, y'all. Next level. Favorite blush that I have right now is the Pat McGrath Divine Blush. I believe that's what I said. Yes, the Divine Blush in the shade New Venus. And this is what it looks like. It's like a pretty, like, no. Real cute. Nice flush of color. And then my other fave blush is the All May Healthy Hue Blush in the shade. I don't know the shade, but this is what it looks like. This is the color, you know. Good, good for brown people, you know. So I'm going to be going in with the Pat McGrath blush. That's typically more what I use now since it's winter time. And I'm going for real you know, warm tones. So that's typically what I use. So when I use this blush, I typically don't use a highlighter, but if I do use a highlighter or use a different blush, I go in with the Milani blush. I mean, not blush, but highlighter in the shade uh, Champagne Dior. I don't, I'm not sure. Or I go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighter in the shade, just a shade, Blossom Glow. Sorry, sorry y'all. But yes, these are my two favorite um, highlights. But I do use this, if I'm not using it, you know, to highlight my cheeks or my brow bone or whatever, I do go in with it on my inner corners. But it's just because the Pat McGrath blush has a little bit of highlight in it, if that makes sense. So I take a flat brush like this and I just tap it into the highlight and I don't drag it across my lid, I just tap it on the inner corner because I don't want it to be too, too pigmented, but I just wanted to do a little something. So yeah, as you guys see, like it just opens up that inner corner. And then I take a little bit more, dab it off, and I just highlight my brow bone. Yes, so there we go. That's what we're looking like now. Now my face is pretty much done and I'm going to do my lips now. Y'all, I never use, I never use a lip liner. I don't purchase lip liners or pencil liners, may I say. I use um, a concealer. And the concealer that I always use is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Deep Espresso. So I'm gonna line my lips with that and then I'll be back. So after lining my lips, I go in with this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin and I just kind of add it over where I line my lips in. After applying that to the outer portion of my lips, I go in with the Lip Bar um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Man Eater. This is what it looks like. So this is the final look after applying my um, lip. Everything came together really nicely. Um, just before I finish up, I always spray again with the Milk Hydro Grip setting spray or I sprayed that after I spray this Morphe, um, these, this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this is a fixing spray. This fixes your makeup. It does not set your makeup. I'm sorry, I don't know who said that. I don't know who told y'all that, but it doesn't. So that is the end of today's video. Every product that I used in this video will be linked in uh, my Amazon shop. I will put my Amazon link in the description below. Don't forget to follow and join the goal. Gang, gang, gang. We lit over here and that's on period sis. If you ain't got no goal, set some, achieve some. The time is now. If you need a message or a memo, it's me. Let's get it done. 2021, we're coming after everything that God has ordained for us and you don't want to miss out. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, but stick around. Stay a while. Yeah. I'll see y'all next week with another video. Blessings, yeah. I see the blessings coming our way.